So when we conceived of doing the FDU 160 distribution amplifier, we're trying to take a, take a new take on what was a very old and traditional type of instrument, the distribution amplifier. Distribution amplifiers typically just sat in a rack, operated until they broke, and then somebody had to run around to find out what had gone wrong. And so we were looking at bringing it into the modern age and make it part of the Internet of Things. And so that involved taking the, co the simple concept of a distribution amplifier, but adding some intelligence to it so that we could use modern tools and modern technology to be able to remotely configure, remotely control, and remotely monitor the performance of the distribution amplifier and have it tell us if there was a problem with it and uh, that we could be proactive in troubleshooting the system in which it was installed or we could do it remotely from a long distance using internet connections. So we decided to go back to our customers and ask them what they really needed in a distribution amplifier. Based on that, we came with this new architecture that is looking toward the future. We built in a dual redundant power supply and we also allowed it to make independent adjustments of each output independently and it allows us not to change them all at once. Our customers came to us and said, we're going to be installing this equipment remotely and we need a, a way to monitor it without people being there. We looked at different network protocols, of course Ethernet being the foundation to all of them, and we implemented both a simple network management protocol, version 1, which is a, a straightforward communication protocol for remote monitoring, and also version 3, which provides authentication. The authentication provides security so that even though it's a simple device, uh, such as a distribution amplifier, it prevents uh, unauthorized people intercepting communications and uh, hacking into it. And so in this day and age, that's a, a key feature. Uh, the second uh, part of the communication is, rather than machine-to-machine -machine communications, is when a human being wants to interact with it. And of course, then you want to have a good web browser in it. Uh, we implemented a, a web browser built into this FDU 160 uh, that uses HTML5. HTML5 is the most uh, recent uh, standard for web browsers and web servers and allows the instrument to be able to be controlled both from a standard PC but also from all of the uh, handheld and tablet type devices. So, uh, the web page is combat compatible with cell phone, it's compatible with a tablet PC or a, an iPad, and it allows the, the pages to be seamlessly viewed whichever type of device you're using. And so we've tried to make them uh, super easy to use, uh, user friendly, and provide full functionality uh, through that web page. We're designing a low noise precision frequency distribution amplifier that's designed to distribute analog signals, but it needs to be controlled with digital signals. The problem is that the digital signals create noise and interference that reduce the low noise of, of the uh, analog outputs. What, what we did to uh, solve the problem was we made two separate boards. We made an analog board for the low noise section and a digital board for the, for the control. Now to get the control signals to the analog board, we turn them into light through a optical optic isolator and convert it back to, sit to analog signals on the analog board, thus preser preserving the low noise and keeping the digital control. One of the big design challenge we had on this project was how do we get it to display the IP address when it starts up. If we don't have the time display, uh, then we look at the row of 16 LEDs for the display and have our solution. So now when you start it up, it shows the, the unit IP address on the LED display as it starts up. It shows the unit IP address on the LED display when it starts up. It's a really great way of communicating the unit IP address without having to use a zero cable to figure it out.
So we at Brandywine Communications are very proud of what we've accomplished with the FDU 160i. Uh, we think it's raised the bar on what a distribution amplifier should be and can be. It's definitely ready to be connected to the Internet of Things.